The word weird is a funny one. When we search for its meaning, we get words like bizarre or very strange. But well, to me, weird is just a synonym for anime and manga. さ、出したぜ。なんだ、物足りないのか欲張りね。やるよ。欲張りね。なんだこいつ。まあいいや、こいつも一緒にやっちまうか。いや、待て。よく見ろ。あいつの体。俺は知っている。お前たちのような不良
This test is easy. On our number three, we have The Legend of Koizumi. We just had two pretty weird mangas. Yet, boy, they don't even come close of being as weird as this one. What the fuck is this piece of shit? The Legend of Koizumi is a satirical manga series that parodies real-life political figures by portraying them as characters in high-stakes mahjong matches, a very popular Chinese tile-based game. The story revolves around former Japanese Prime Minister Junichiro Koizumi and other world leaders engaging in intense mahjong battles to settle international disputes and political conflicts. In each chapter, Koizumi and his allies, including other Japanese political figures and celebrities, face off against fictionalized versions of real-world leaders, such as George Bush, Vladimir Putin, and even Adolf Hitler himself. The Mahjong matches serve as allegories for real-world events and political maneuvering, with each player employing strategic tactics and manipulation to gain an advantage. As the series progresses, the stakes really escalate and the battles become increasingly absurd and over the top. The manga utilizes humor, exaggerated characterizations, and outrageous scenarios to lampoon the personalities and policies of the world leaders depicted. Despite its comedic premise, The Legend of Koizumi also incorporates elements of suspense, action, and political commentary, offering a unique and entertaining perspective on international relations. Overall, the manga provides a satirical and irreverent take, blending elements of comedy and strategy to create an engaging and memorable narrative. This is a type of manga that escalates more and more every chapter, so by the end things get very messy, but weirdly hilarious. So if you like a good parody and want to have some fun, this manga will not disappoint you. And now, a manga with a bit of a weird premise, but that will teach you a lot about the human body. More specifically, the insides of the human body. I'm talking about our number four, Cells at Work. Cells at Work is a manga that balances humor and teaching concepts with mastery. The story takes place inside the human body, where trillions of anthropomorphic cells each do their job to keep the body healthy. The series largely focuses on two such cells a rookie red blood cell who often gets lost during deliveries, and a relentless white blood cell who fights against any germs that invade the body. Just like an actual battle manga, it is quite a surprise how accurate and informative this manga is whilst being able to provide good laughs. The story is actually fun, even if in the bigger picture it's just a human body functioning. And that's it, nothing too deep or complex. Personifying concepts as blood cells or bacteria and all really paid off. If you want some chuckles while learning something, you should really check this show. The anime is on Netflix for you who dislike reading, and if you are that person... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Try some manga, it's the good stuff. And last but not least, we have our number 5, Saint Young Man. Saint Young Man follows the daily lives and adventures of two unlikely roommates, Jesus Christ and Gautama Buddha. I swear, I'm not kidding. By the way, spoilers, this manga rules. In this slice of life comedy manga, Jesus and Buddha decide to take a vacation on Earth and rent an apartment together in modern day Tokyo. The manga humorously explores how these two divine figures navigate the challenges of living as ordinary humans in Tokyo's contemporary society. Despite their extraordinary backgrounds, Jesus and Buddha try to blend in with the human population, often encountering amusing situations and cultural misunderstandings along the way. Throughout the series, the unexpected duo develop a close friendship as they experience experience various aspects of human life, such as shopping, cooking, and exploring Tokyo's attractions. They also interact with other characters, including their eccentric landlord, neighbors, and occasional visitors from the divine realm. Saint Young Man combines light-hearted humor with moments of reflection and insight, exploring themes of friendship, spirituality, and the human experience. The manga offers a unique and charming portrayal of two iconic religious figures as they navigate the complexities of everyday life in a modern urban setting. And even if you're not too interested in religion, you will for sure have fun reading this manga. I know it sounds weird, but man, this whole video is weird. So yeah, here we are. 
I try to give the spotlight to series that I think are underrated. Some honorable mentions can be given to JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Devilman Crybaby, and Evangelion. And that's it for today, folks. Thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like and subscribe for more. Keep being weird, keep being fun, and above all, keep reading manga. Bye!